Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft World War II video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the TKW with a crew of two. Going over to its uh, dimensions, length is going to be a length of 2.52 uh, meters, basically the same as the standard tank at. Its role is a tank at, and the number built was one prototype. Uh, armaments include one 7.92 millimeter WZ 25 MG, and uh, its engine was a Ford A engine with a total of 40 horsepower. Uh, it's performance at a max speed of 40 km per hour, but anyways guys, that's it for uh, this, and enjoy the tutorial. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kirito Wolfie here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going ahead and do the TKW, Polish Tankette. This here was a very rare tank. It was uh, part of a development for a upgraded version of the TK, um, basically a series of tanks. Uh, the idea was to equip it with a turret, which will uh, would allow it to be more versatile and be able to obviously have a 360 degree um, field of view. Uh, however, there were problems with this vehicle as it's so small and having a turret of this size, basically it proved to be too heavy for the vehicle and was very tough on it, uh, especially on the right side with all the weight being concentrated over there. Um, it also uh, turned out that it limited the uh, driver's view and it also couldn't, they couldn't get the turret to be a to completely 360 degrees. So I believe only in total two of these were made and they were pretty much testing prototypes. Um, so uh, nothing really came out of this project or anything like that, but I thought it was a really weird design This was part of me, you know looking up stuff for the TK series of tanks and uh, I found this and I'm like this thing is so weird. I kind of build it um, It is definitely a derpy design um, So going ahead and taking a look at this thing. It's 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 something else and that's pretty much all I can really you know come up with to summarize this vehicle um, anyways, it's got the standard chassis of the TK3, TKS, pretty much series of tanks. Uh, if anything, it's more based on the TK3 um, actual hull or anything like that. Uh, but you can see that there's some differences and stuff like that. And I had to change up a little bit of things to kind of make it its own to, uh, you know, obviously make this work. One thing I also found interesting was it almost seemed like they moved the uh, exhaust over, which was quite interesting. And uh, kind of did some other stuff. They had like a little rack system here for uh, like spare road, road wheels and stuff like that. Um, so it's very interesting to see how they um, actually did that. Uh, but yeah, you can see right here we got the turret. It was equipped with a 7.92 millimeter um, Hotchkiss. So basically the same gun used for pretty much most of the tanks in this series of tanks. And uh, you can just see it's definitely something something weird. It's uh, a very weird design. Um, definitely something interesting and I guess you could say uh, unique, but it, uh, it, it it's it's weird. I just wanted to build it. I thought it was kind of weird and I just, you know, felt the urge to build it. So here we go. We have the TKW uh, tank at. Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and move into the tutorial. We're going to do it all in one uh, go because it's, you know, fairly uh, simple tank. It's very small. So um, with that, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial. Alright guys, so I'm going ahead and moving on to the tutorial. Now, what we want to do to start off with is we're going to go ahead and take another brick upside down stair. We're going to place down one just like this. On the back of the stair, we're going to place down a green stankway block, followed by one and two dark oak wood stairs. After those two dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down a green stankway block, followed by an upside down narrow brick stair. Along the sides here of these uh, stairs and green stankway block, we're going to place down a row of three of signs and then a stone button on this green stankway block up here. With that done, we then want to place down one and two dark oak with top slabs coming off the upside down stair. And same thing back here, one and two dark oak with uh, top slabs. And then on the back, we're just going to place down a row two of dark oak with fence gates opened up like so. Uh, we then want to go ahead and take our dark oak with top slabs, place down uh, two rows here, basically filling in the base here for the vehicle. And over here on the left side, we're just going to go ahead and copy what we did over on the right side. And for the tracks, and the same exact thing, um, we're just copying it over. So you can look back that, at that if you need to. And we're just going to take our signs again, place them down along the sides here, and then a stone button on that green stankway block. Going ahead and moving up uh, to our next uh, layer here, we're going to place a dark oak wood slab on either side, followed by a row of four of dark oak wood stairs. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some levers, um, and we're going to place down a lever like this on these two dark oak wood top slabs, and we're going to make sure that they're flicked in so that they uh, connect up to each other like that in the front. And we could also go ahead and go into our inventory, we can grab ourselves an item frame. And we're going to place down an item frame right here, which we'll get back to in a little bit. 
It's basically for adding on some uh, tools and stuff like that if we want to. After we have that done, we're going to place down a row of four green stained clay across, followed by a second row of four, and then a third row across, just like that. We're going to grab ourselves some tripwire hooks on either side of the third row of four. We're going to place down a tripwire hook. And over here on the right side and the right side only, we're going to place down one and two stone buttons along the side there. On the back, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab on top of those two narrow brick upside on stairs. Uh, we also want to place down a narrow brick slab next to this dark oak wood slab like that. We're then going to grab ourselves a lever, place down a lever on top of this uh, dark oak wood top slab, and then we're going to place down an item frame on this green stink weight block. Now, if you want to add these tools, uh, you're going to need those item frames, and we're going to go ahead and take iron tools and use those. You guys can use whatever tools you want. If you want to uh, make this thing a pimp tank or whatever, you can put some uh, gold tools or something on it. Uh, but for me, I think iron looks the best, so we're going to go ahead and use iron, and we're just going to put tools in and make sure that they're, you know, sitting horizontal in the item frame, um, just like that to kind of look like, makes it look like there's actual tools strapped onto it or something like that. Um, anyways, going ahead and continuing on, moving on to our uh, next layer up. Uh, we will need to go ahead and grab ourselves some spruce wood stairs for this. Um, so we're going to place down a spruce wood stair like this. Uh, actually, we're going to move it like that, followed by a dark oak wood stair to the side of it like this, so it creates a corner stair. And then going back from this stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like that. So you have a corner stair here, corner stair, then you have the dark oak no, yeah, stair like that. And we're going to put another stair over here on this side, like so. So something just like that. Once you have uh, that done, we're then going to place down a row to a green stained clay, followed by a second row, just like that. Now on the spruce wood uh, stair right up here in the front, we're going to place down an item frame, followed by a sign over it, like this. And we then want to grab ourselves a glass block, and we're just going to place down a glass block in the item frame, like that to uh, basically make the uh, little light there in the front. After you have that done, on the back here, we're gonna place down one and two dark oak wood stairs, come off those green stank wood blocks, followed by a dark oak wood half slab to the side, and then we just wanna grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence post and place it down to the left. After you have that done, we need to grab ourselves some wither skeleton skulls, and we're also gonna need some signs. We're gonna place down one and two wither skeleton skulls on the left side here, followed by two signs over here on those two um, stairs just like that. And we also want to place down a sign on the side of this stair uh, right there on the end. Going ahead and continuing to move up, we're going to go ahead and take our green stained clay, place down a row of two like that. After we have that done, we're going to place down a row of two of mossy cobblestone walls. With that done, we're then going to place down a row of two of dark liquid stairs. And then coming off this dark liquid stair here, we're going to place down a dark liquid half slab, followed by an end rod coming off of it like so uh, for the very end. With that done, we then want to grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate on top of that fence post, and we're going to have it opened up toward the front. Uh, on the, uh, or actually, we're going to have it open up toward the back. My bad. And then we're just going to place down a sign coming off the iron frame, like so. The last thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone buttons, and we're going to place down one and two on top of those green stink wood blocks, like so, for the turret. And uh, once you guys have that done, that's going to nearly do it. We actually have one last thing I almost forgot. On top of this dark liquid corner stair here, we're going to place down a zombie head like that. And uh, once you guys have that all done, we're, that's going to pretty much do it for the TKW Polish Tankette. Uh, a very interesting version of the TK uh, series of tanks. And uh, just one of those wacky World War II designs that's kind of been lost to time. Uh, anyways guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you guys do end up using this design at desk, then you guys can be proper credit for it. This will be anything from a sign on the build, link to my channel, or this video. If this does appear on any social media sites, just be sure to get proper credit for this uh, build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on, uh, you know, making these videos. So uh, as long as you guys give me credit, you guys are free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4 and I'll see you guys next time.